I'm just going to like pull some stuff out of here because I read this like three days ago. So, <laughs> um, so, so real improvisation is more than just a garment. Okay, hold on. True improvisation is getting on stage and performing without any preparation or planning. We all kind of knew that. Um, it also goes over how to be funny. Um, and so one of the things about being funny and, and being in comedy is, especially with improv, is this chapter talks about the less scripted and the less pre-planned you are, the more funny it's going to be. So you don't, you don't ever want to start an improv scene like planning everything that's going to happen you want it to kind of just come out naturally and, and just build on that. And then the audience will find that funnier than if you come in with a predetermined you know, way of how it's going to go. And then you're kind of just like acting more. And it's not true improv and it's not as funny. Um, so, the, so they say honest discovery, observation, and reaction is better than contrived invention. We're the funniest when we're just being ourselves. Um, they also go over a lot of improv that came out of Second City Theater up in Chicago. And remember, uh, annunciation looks to be loud enough for everybody to hear and mark each other. I'll cover that uh, in a little more depth, I don't believe, I think this is going to be it for right now. Um, uh, are you going to set out then? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, so key points for chapter one. Be honest. Don't go for the jokes. Because if we're just, if we're just playing the scene out and we're not thinking, we're not consciously thinking, how can I make this funny? You're just living the scene and it's going to be funny if you're being honest. And then there's also, there's nothing funnier than the truth. So chapter one is kind of just like touching on all of that. Um, did I miss anything? Uh, you know, I didn't catch all of it. That's, uh, that's good. Uh, uh, just a little, a little overview. That's all we really want to do. So uh, look at your spacing. Let's go ahead and try to space out equally. OK. Uh, I want to thank all of you for being here. Uh, we have had two uh, improv sessions here. Um, both previous were uh, three until six. Uh, this is Bob Anglin. Uh, Bob Anglin is a representative from uh, Arrow TV, I believe. Uh, it's Arrow TV? Yes. And that is a, um, a, a maybe you can uh, describe what that is for us. We Bob have an app on Roku. On Roku. Okay. Roku tells we have a channel on called Arrow TV Launchpad. It's more launching film for futures. That's what the idea is, right? So we do independent films, we do old, nasty uh, public domain films, because that's a lot of cheap stuff we get. Um, we have film festivals, one's coming up on Monday. We have 26 films from all over the world um, that were submitted. And they're going to start, and that will be an online film festival contest where the audience decides. Um, but we're also looking for new content, new shows including sketch comedy shows, uh, improv shows, things like that. So that's what we're hoping to build out of this. Yes. And so some of you uh, know me from the Overtime Theater where we met doing uh, their workshop. And some of you uh, have met me through my call on San Antonio Actors website. I believe that's how we met. Uh, San Antonio Actors uh, Facebook group. It's got over, uh, there's two of them with exactly the same name. Uh, both of them have over a thousand people. Anyway, so I reached out and uh, what my objective was is uh, to work on fundamentals through advanced techniques of improvisational theater slash comedy. Um, most improv you're going to see is improv comedy. But I want to make the distinction that improv theater exists. And what we're doing right now, as Matt covered very briefly, um, comedy um, insinuates that you need to be funny all the time right now. We're all clowns. And, uh, and so that can get um, hairy and rocky and, and not, it, it can be rough. You know, if you got a bunch of clowns and, and uh, no content. So what uh, we're doing is working on those improv um, fundamentals through advanced techniques 
taking uh, what we're learning, being able to uh, move into performance, okay, doing shows as teams, okay, uh, there are going to be more of us available than uh, would constitute a team. So some will be able to uh, be in that, and there will be so many that we can constitute um, multiple teams. That's the idea. Uh, we're basically ground floor right now. And uh, so those improv, uh, the, the rehearsal work that we're doing right now, the uh, performances that we will be doing for live audiences, um, and, you know, and very likely streamed as well, all right? So live stream to whatever venue. That content will all uh, go into a big um, available uh, pool of content to then develop sketch comedy from. Okay, sketch comedy, we all know Saturday Night Live is the most world famous uh, sketch comedy uh, TV show. And there's any number of other ones, Mad TV, um, name one. Anybody? Huh? Chappelle Show, good. 